Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we're gonna make something that is for the fall. This is for Thanksgiving, Christmas. This is for the fall and winter season. This is going to be the apple pie martini. I designed this one about, oh, it's been a long time now, maybe eight, eight years ago. It's a hit with my family, all made from fresh ingredients. Here we go. First of all, you're gonna to need to have baked apple vodka that you're gonna to have to make yourself. When it's done, you can see I'm almost out here, but this is what it looks like. Baked apple vodka from 2016. Because it's all vodka, it keeps forever. It's like preserved, it's embalmed in there. How do you make baked apple vodka? You'll take about five Granny Smith apples, core them, take out the core, and do them just like you would do baked apples. You do like raw sugar or brown sugar. I think raw is probably better than brown. And use cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. Put them in there. Put in the oven for at 350 for as long as it takes till they get really soft. And what you want to do is take them out, put them in some kind of a, either a glass or some kind of a container that won't impart any flavor. Stainless steel would work. This device here to mash them up, then pour in your 750 milliliters of vodka, just straight vodka, not flavored. And then you want to let it sit there for a while. Best is you let it sit for two weeks. If you can't wait that long, you know, use it as soon as you can. But what you want to do is extract the pectin, not only the flavor of those apples, those baked apples, which will be delicious. Oh, by the way, when you, when you put those apples into your container, put all the drippings, all the juice that comes off, put that all in there too. The longer it sits there, the longer the water has to extract the pectin. And the pectin gives it this, you see how it kind of sticks to the wall there and it's kind of thick? That's what you want. That's what makes this cocktail really phenomenal and very much like an apple pie. You know when you cut into a piece of apple pie and the liquid is very thick, it's very gelatinous. The other ingredients are going to be green apple vodka. This is one from Smirnoff. I haven't tried it yet. It smells pretty green apple-y, so that's good. This is a spiced rum from California, North Coast, California. I love the wines from there. This uh, line of Simply Apple, they're really good. They're very high quality. They taste as much like a freshly squeezed juice as you're gonna get from the grocery store. And then we've got lemon juice, and this stuff is crazy. St. Elizabeth's Allspice Dram. This is actually a liqueur, liqueur made from allspice. Look at this, okay? And it's thick, it's sweet, and it's like... <clears throat> Holy cow! It's like... It's very intense. We're just gonna use a little bit of that. I haven't tried that for a long time. I'm gonna serve this in a coupe, a coupe de champagne. Uh, bartenders are using these more and more for martinis because they don't spill. I think that's why. We're gonna rim this. Think about apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie. Apple pie. What is like apple pie? You've got cinnamon, you've got sugar. We're gonna rim this in cinnamon sugar. So I've got my little rimming accessory down here. I made some cinnamon sugar. This is a little sponge in here, which I have that says lime juice, but it's not. This is lemon juice because that's one of the ingredients. So I'm gonna get the rim wet. You could just use water and then I just stick it in there. And look at that beautiful rimming of that glass, okay? That's gonna be great for what we need to do. Okay, so we're gonna start with an ounce and a quarter of this baked apple vodka. Obviously, I gotta make some more of this this season, but this has lasted for four years. An ounce and a quarter. You wanna shake this before you pour it because it separates quickly. An ounce, that's one ounce. And here's a quarter ounce. I'm gonna take an ounce and a quarter of green apple vodka. So that's an ounce and a quarter. There you go. That's that. I'm gonna use an ounce and a quarter of spiced rum. There's an ounce. I'm gonna put in an ounce and a quarter of this apple juice, shake it well. Simply apple and spice syrup. They'll have this recipe on the website too. This stuff is just like, oh, you just want it. You just want to drink this by itself. It's so delicious. Okay, now this is taking 0.625 ounces. So that's gonna be, that's 0.625 right there, right there. Okay, now let's 
The measurements are kind of ridiculous. So we're gonna do a quarter ounce of lemon juice, because you know you wanna have a little lemon juice in your apple pie. Then we're gonna do a tiny bit, like a tenth of an ounce of the allspice dram. This stuff is, you, you saw how I reacted to it. So we're gonna do, this is basically a few drops. You see how much that is? Yeah, not much more than that. Think about it, that's all going into one drink, so be careful. That's it. Now the rest is easy. We just put some ice in there. When I'm serving a drink on the rocks, I like this ice because it has a different shape and the, the cubes from my, my freezer, those little half circle things, they, they're really lame. They stick to the side of the glass. You try to drink and the stuff goes all over you. Don't be shy with the ice. Put in enough that it, the, the, it sticks up above the liquid. That's always my rule. Then you make sure that it really gets cooled down. This is one's ready to go. Now, I'm not gonna double strain this because I'm typically I'll double strain, but this will take all the pectin out. So I'm just gonna single strain it. And I want you to see, it's got the color of the apple pie and it's got a kind of a gelatinous uh, texture to it. Let's give it a taste. Ooh. Holy crap, that tastes like apple pie. Holy crap. Mm. Now, ooh, that's delicious. This is a strong cocktail, so beware. Three and three quarters ounces of spirits, and the whole drink is only about five ounces. So it's more than 50% alcohol, so even it goes down super smooth. But be careful, because you drink two of these, you'll be on your butt. I'm not gonna drink two. Mm. Yeah. Enjoy the holidays. Make this for your family, they will Love you for it. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Mm -mm. I'm just drinking the whole thing. <laughs>